Welcome to Super Cars of London! <laughs> now I apologise for the fact there is only one GoPro angle in this video, but unfortunately... Well, this happened. What is up guys? Welcome to Supercars of London, in London. And uh, what are we doing over there? Well, we're getting this what, what, what are you holding? Well, first of all, welcome to Supercar Supercars of London. <laughs> and second of all, welcome to Destroy GoPro. Yeah, so... You might not be having uh, much content. No. That is the most obliterated I've ever seen a GoPro. It's pretty bad. Basically, do you want me to tell the story? Well, hold Not on. the full story, because people get bored. <laughs> this, this certainly isn't how I intended on starting the video. We were coming up here to Hyde Park to begin a video feature on your new daily. That has been absolutely run over, <laughs> flat, and then reversed over. <laughs> Mate, that's gone. That's the, that is the first time I've ever had like a GoPro fully explode. I've had GoPros fall off cars at oh, yeah. a lot of miles You always know it's gonna be all right. Yeah. It happens, you just think. I was genuinely running back and thinking, this is gonna be fine, it's just gonna be in the middle of the road and then I just see bits scattered all over the place. I'm like, and it just uh, was a bit of a... 350 quid down the drain. So I like, say it was an expensive trip to London for like you. Three weeks old that goes for as well. No way. <laughs> yeah, it's like brand new. And that, firstly, is not how I wanted to start the video, but is why sometimes filming cars is annoying. It is annoying. Because uh, you have to put GoPros on the outside and you do everything test it to make sure that it's suctioned on properly oh yeah yeah you're you're literally trying to kick it off and you go <laughs> and then somehow it's like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> two and a half grand option okay so with the styling pack i believe you get the wing uh you get the rear diffuser the front canards and front, and the front they're called dtm fins or something but really? yeah yeah apparently uh, right. i might be wrong i probably am wrong usually am um what else do we have on here uh, it looks mean from the back it does i like the fact how it, they've, they've done um uh, the back of it a few people don't like the exhaust they are a bit weird but yeah no i like the styling but the interior is where it's at the interior is my favorite bit and that's what car. sold me that is actually what sold me the car because this is basically it's not an A45, but it's a no, modern A45. It's, it's basically got the A250 engine in it, it's just yes. with a different turbo. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Does which it? is why it loses. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Which is, which is why it loses in a straight line against an Audi S3. And we're not talking but about that. But we've talked, no, we are going to talk about it. No, we're not going to talk about it. Because that. this is way cooler and you buy this car because of the interior. So let's go inside, you don't go buy for it, a drive. No, no, that's wrong. You don't buy it just because of the interior. You buy it because it's all, re it's all round a better car. Look at this premium plus because of the premium plus package. But. Advanced nav package, Paul. Very, very plush and luxurious interior. This- I, I feel like a chauffeur driving. Do you? Mm. Yeah, yeah, generally the steering is so light. Really? Yeah, I think that's something I've realized is- Do you know that sound of leather going through your hands like that? You know where you're just letting it run through your hands? Mm -hmm. It's the sign of nice leather on a steering wheel. Is that a thing? That's a thing in my eyes. Hmm. Anyway. <laughs> Where are we going? Are, you going? are you going down there? Am I going left or am I going right? Yeah, let's go left. Okay, no worries. But yeah, no, I do like it. It's it's just not, you know, brand new as well. When it got delivered, I was just like, and this is not a press car before people wonder it as well. This is actually my own car. <laughs> that, that, that I've had to buy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rush hour in London. I was hoping to experience the 300 brake horsepower, but I'm pretty sure all we did with the SVR was sit in traffic as well. 306. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I did a video with Tom back when he had a rear wheel drive hurricane, so like back in the oh, day. Classic. Back in the day oh, when you guy. still lived in Basingstoke. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not slagging Basingstoke off. No, just, neither am I. I'm just saying old times. Old times, the golden days. Yeah. And I did a video on why you should never drive a Lamborghini in London. And we got a speciale! A Perta! I don't know why I got so excited about that. It's the first real supercar that we've seen today. That's actually sick though. That is sick. How much is that? That's like 650, 700k. Just roof down. Cruising. Uh, is that Carl? Yeah, it's Carl Hartley. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> They're all out today. It was, wasn't it? What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Carl. We're now in Sport Plus. Oh, it's yeah. It's got some burbles. Hey, 
Have you ever heard of Dyson Hoover? It's similar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> brings me nicely onto the topic of modifications, apart from a D-chrome. Yeah, I do want to do that. I mean, it's a tricky one, isn't it? Because you can go, I have read of people tuning these cars, and I don't, I've done that before, and I don't think I want to do it again. You want to leave this stock? Why do I need, I don't, it's I brand need, new. I don't need another 50 brake. No. For me, it's just, this car is just the daily, and I don't want to, like, just ruin no, it. No, yeah, yeah, it makes total so, uh, sense. We are cruising along right now, and you can hard, you can't even. You and even, we're in Sport Plus. I mean, put Sport it back Plus. into comfort. Put it back into comfort, just there, and you'll see exactly. I mean, I don't know if it feels much, but it. It, it does. It did. Oh. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna say something quite controversial here. Oh, well, uh, let me zoom in a little bit then. <laughs> oh, there go the brakes. Brakes are a bit squeaky. Class what? Classic Merc. <laughs> Go on, say the, say the important thing. Um, I was going to say, lowering a car is just not a thing, is it? <laughs> is that normal? Um, do it's again. a brand new car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Honestly, it doesn't do that often. I think if you stamp on the brakes, then it'll clean the brake discs. See? Oh. <laughs> this is your horn. <laughs> Coming through. It's actually not a thing, because obviously it's a new car. It's done 400 miles. So... Oh, hold it there. GT3 RS. Where? There. Oh my god, they're just great. All black with gold wheels. That is a solid spec. And that is... Purple wheels. We're going this way left. Yeah, let's go left. Oh, there's a lovely truck. Chelsea. Ooh. Oh, we've got the two million diamond of Entador RSV. Hopefully this will get the video to two million views now. What a wild car. That's the first time I've seen that. Really? Yeah. It's cool, isn't it? What's this? Turbo S. Turbo S. With the aero pack. That's sick. That is sick. just about to get reversed into. Don't worry, um, man from Qatar. I've got this guy's number plate. Oh, he's getting, he's getting a ticket. Oh, the guy behind me is beeping. Oh, he's getting a ticket, the Porsche. I reckon so. You know what? What? That's the first time I've seen, is it Daria? Daria, yeah. Aventador SV, her Aventador SV. Photos don't do it justice. They don't, but you don't see the sparkle. I actually then that looks quite cool. <laughs> it is cool. I you should see it. You should actually see it at night. At night, it's yeah. It's the like first cool. photos that came out, it just looked really dull grey. I need to get the brakes fixed, don't I? Yeah, but you can literally just hand the keys to someone at Merck and just say, "Fix that. This is a brand new car." Yeah, well, which is perfect. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Should we talk about something else? Yeah, don't we? Should we park up and carry on the video? Yeah. <laughs> no, that, that SV, actually, seeing that in person is, is seriously impressive. Ball, like, balls for doing it, so fair play. Yeah. On a 350 grand car. I think the wrap is, like, not cheap either. Well, it's not really a wrap, is it? It is a wrap, isn't it? It's a wrap on a wrap. Well, no, it's a wrap, then the diamonds are stuck to the wrap, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, it's, so it's a wrap. Okay. <laughs> Are you well? <laughs> <laughs> just, just said it's a wrap. Yeah. Is the car wrapped? It is underneath the diamonds. <laughs> that is very cool. GLS. GLS. S, S chassis, so like super long wheelbase on a car the size of a bus, but then they put this 63 engine in it. Which is, I, I don't know whether it's the five litre. That is actually. Oh, yeah! Oh, I'm a clown. Has that got a 1016 bonnet? It looks like it, doesn't it? On a spider? You've seen a lot of cars today. There's never usually this many cars out in London. Really? Oh, that is actually a bit there. You know what I mean? You've, we've done pretty well on that little lap. Something about a Merc AMG, I love. Something about Merc in general. 
Merc versus most things will come. Oh, obviously, yeah, it's got squeaky brakes, but you know you can just you could just drop into a dealer. Oh leave mate, it there that's for a not day. that should not be one of your worries. Drop it in, go and have a coffee, get all of their free drinks from the Mercedes dealership, and then, and then drive away, and your brakes are fine. I know, it doesn't matter. It's just common with Mercedes. It's common. My CCC3 had squeaky really? brakes as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. They can fix it. Yeah, oh, you said Mercedes. It comes up and it's like, what would you like to do? Could you repeat your input, please? Call Paul. Please select a contact. That's cool. You've got a lot of pools because I don't even come up there. <laughs> <laughs> it works, though. It does work. It works with my voice. Does it work with okay, your I'm voice? Gonna, I'm going to go again. Go on, then. Mercedes. How can I help you? Call Paul Wallace One. I'm calling the mobile phone of Wallace One, Paul. Yeah. Oh! End the call. End. End the call. Put the phone down. Stop. <laughs> I don't like him. Stop. No. No. How, how do you voice that? Cancel right call. <laughs> Mercedes cancel. <laughs> Mercedes cancel. <laughs> oh, the brakes are fine now. See? Told you it was that technique. What's the technique? <laughs> Didn't actually say anything. But my GoPro got destroyed, which I'm very frustrated about. It's just a waste of money, but why filming cars can be quite annoying. And uh, maybe I should just get some duct tape to sellotape over. The suction cup. You can do everything you in what way and, and it will still fall off. And it will still fall off. Anyway, that's a vlog in London in Archie's brand new A35 AMG, which I am loving. Uh you're wrong. It's called a Mercedes AMG A35. Okay, what did I say? Mercedes A35. I know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right guys, subscribe, thumbs up, peace out, goodbye.